Good evening everybody. This is these are my elf pajamas. Not too bad. Um this is the mummy size uh elf pajamas advertised on eBay. Elf pajamas. I'm not letting misery guts and bullies upset my evening. Like I said, I can have fun by myself. <laughs> um I like to cheer people up. I don't like to make them feel miserable. I don't see what is wrong with some people. Right, so I'm at home. It's the evening. Um, it's not been too bad. It could have been worse. You've got to look on the bright side of things. Um, Alexa, what is the time, please? It's 7.28 p.m. The time is 7.28 p.m. So guys, if uh, people want to bully and try and upset me, you've done a bad job of it. A very bad job. I'm sure you'll try again tomorrow, won't you? So good evening everybody. I've been at home and um, I must admit I was upset. I don't, one of the things I really hate is rudeness. Rudeness. I open the doors for men and women. Um, if someone smiles at me, I smile back. If someone says good morning, I say good morning back. I really hate rude people. And obviously there was nothing wrong with this guy because he was singing. So he must have had a good day if he was singing as he was going up the stairs. You know what I mean? People want to be rude to me, that's fine. But you ain't going to turn me into a rude person that's going to go around being miserable because you've been rude to me. I'll make it doubly sure that I'm nice to everybody next time, you know. It's not going to stop me opening the doors for people and being a nice person because somebody is extremely rude to me. That doesn't work. So, um, good evening again. 10 to 7, I get get ready to take Max out for a walk on my own in the pitch black. Um, people are extremely rude to me. Some people, not everyone. And I think I'm brave. And I think um, that I'm misunderstood or someone's mistaken me for someone else because I'm not a thief. I'm not nasty. I do stand up for myself. I, I'm not going to sit and be taken the piss out of, do you know what I mean, like I was the other day, um, I'm not gonna, gonna stand for it, and standing up for yourself is not nasty, it's a good thing, but you can stand up for yourself without dragging yourself to their disgusting level, right, if they think taking the piss out of looks is acceptable, then one day someone will take the piss out of what they look like and then they will feel what it feels like when they do it to other people. It's the only punishment. It's the only punishment. If someone laughs at you because of your condition, disability, it's wrong. So if you laugh at them, they won't like it. Of course they won't like it. They think they're the bee's knees, but they're not. They're the, the bottom of society. They're the dregs. They're the, they're the thing that actually nobody wants. But they don't see that. They think they're wonderful. By putting someone else down, they think, oh, I'm great. I'm great. I've just belittled somebody. Look, they look all upset. I'm a wonderful person. You're not. And you are going to get a taste of your own medicine. Maybe well, not now, but it might be a long time down the line but you will get a taste of your own medicine and i hope i'm there to see it so 10 to 7 just after the corridor is black the lights are out it's black and then i go out of my flat the safety light comes on you can see down the corridor and i go down the stairs and I go out of the back of the building why because 
I don't want to make an entrance of myself. I'm quite happy being anonymous and going out the back way. And that's what I did. I went out the back and there was a red Ford. A red Ford car. I don't drive. Very nice car, but I don't drive. And as I was walking past it, it beeped its horn really loudly. And it was obviously picking someone up. People go out on a Thursday evening. I've been out on a Thursday evening to Weatherspoons, right? People go out on Thursday evenings, they do. I bet Weatherspoons was, uh, probably is still quite full in places. Um, so this, so I got a, a horn of a car right in my ear. Beeped his car horn, red Ford, right? If you want to beep your car horn, beep it. Walk past it. And then I walked round the back of the flats and I walked onto the field. Nobody about at all. Remember that this bullying has started again and it can make some people feel really, really miserable and upset and low. Nobody about at all. Didn't see anybody. I actually did not see one person this evening I didn't see one person I saw cars going up and down the road but I didn't actually see one solitary person walking on the street or on the field got into the field and I used my iPhone torch not iPhone sorry my some Samsung's got a torch on the back of the phone so I used my torch. I didn't ring anybody up because I'm tired of ringing the phone. I'm tired of talking to people on the phone. It's like a virtual person. I'm never walking around the field with anybody anymore. I'm walking with a phone in my hand talking to a, like a virtual person, you know. I'm walking around the field with talking to a person on the end of the phone that I can't see. So I walked all the way around the field with Max. Uh, the uh, castle was lit up red. Uh, the cathedral had a silver spire, but it was like gold underneath, like gold colours. Very nice. Took a couple of photographs with my flash. And then I walked back down the road. Right, and they love to drive their cars at you. So I'm walking. I can see it, but I know I can hear and I can see. So... It had no effect this evening because I just waited. I could hear a car coming round the corner as I was coming round. So I stood and waited for it to go. And then another one followed right behind it. And then when I came into the building, right, I'm really happy by myself. I, I'm not looking for anybody. I can do what I like when I want, go to bed when I want, get up when I want do what I want. I'm quite happy that way. So their scenarios and rudeness does not bother me. It's annoying. It's irritating. But it does not bother me anymore. Because I'm thinking, well, if you act like that, I'm glad I'm not with you anyway. Do you know what I mean? If you're as rude as that, and you're that nasty, I'm glad I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so, I come into the flats, and um, here I am now, and I'm about to make myself a drink before my bedtime. I'm going to put, why not be in my pyjamas at half past seven? I've got nobody to impress. And actually, it's warmer than having the heating on. It is. I actually like these. I just I want the elf hat and the elf slippers now. Elf slippers with the little bells on the end and a little elf hat. And then I, I feel like a little Santa's elf. Um, it's a shame. People are wicked and nasty to me. It's a shame. Because with the right person we could have fun together but there you go that's life and i'm gonna get on with it it's my age now it's my age my age is 
dragging me down and I know that but I can have fun on my own so fuck them in my opinion it doesn't matter how old you are but manners manners are, are more important to me not what somebody looks like and how old they are manners if you're rude go away so I'm going to see if there's a film on Netflix I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and no doubt these sponges will try again tomorrow to get on my nerves and again it won't work and we'll have to keep doing it till they learn their lesson and people that are, are rude to me get completely ignored so the more you fucking throw your toys out the pram and try and get attention the more I'll ignore you uh, if you're polite to me and you treat me with respect, you've got more chance of getting through to me than being a bastard and being horrible to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I hope it sinks into your thick head. I am now <laughs> going to get on with my evening. There's plenty of food for tomorrow. I still haven't eaten my steak and onion sandwich. Uh, there's no need to go out to the co-op. I've been out there today. The weekend is probably going to be a pile of crap, um, but hey ho, I'm not giving in to a monster and a bully. See you later.